David, good to meet you. How do you do? Very right. good. This is it, huh? This is it. This is where it kind of all began. Early 90s Siberia seems an odd place for a young entrepreneurial Californian to set up shop. Literally what happened was I just fell in love with the people. The ever optimistic Chris Tara Brown arrived for a summer camp 19 years ago and never left. Oh wow, what have we got here? Got some macaroons. Got some berry tarts. I mean, what's the coffee culture like in Russia? Well, you know, it was literally nothing. It was 99.9% .9 instant coffee. You go into somebody's kitchen, you know, because that's the only place in 1994 when I came here. Yeah. That was the only place anything was done. These days, Siberians conduct business in travelers' coffee houses over cafe lattes and double espressos. So we're from all the way from Vladivostok, Ukraine, Kazakhstan. We're in five countries right now. So but you've got Russia wrapped up. Uh, that's, that's, you know. Not quite. Yeah, that's not jinx. Center of the empire is Novosibirsk, the unofficial capital of Siberia. It's a modern city that hasn't quite shaken its Soviet past. All right, here we are. Hello. What we look at when we're outside Russia are like the initiative to put Pussy Riot in jail or the anti-gay propaganda law. We should be celebrating, dancing in the street every day and remembering that we were ready to kill each other. And the fact that I'm an American citizen operating an 80 coffee house chain in the middle of Siberia, that's what we're talking about. Dinner with the Tara Brown family at a steak restaurant doesn't get much more American. Oh, this is good. Oh, it's so fresh. And here I meet Svetlana, the real reason the young Chris was so entranced by Siberia. Surprising that he didn't just sweep you off somewhere else. You must have also had this faith that Siberia was a place where you guys could build your business. Yeah, but then I don't know why we even... Wait a minute, we, mm -hmm. we're bilingual, we have you know, all the stuff that we need to, to do things and have an impact and be a part of the society here, why would we go anywhere else? What about these two boys? Where do you think they're going to end up? America. In America?